bomb in your face. What's up, guys? Uh, having some major tef- technical technical difficulties today. Um, let me get closer to the mic here. So, sorry, I just did a um, 36-minute podcast, and uh, yeah, it disappeared. So, uh, didn't well, it didn't disappear. It uh, was just choppy. It was just something wrong with the mic adapter that I was using. That's my only uh, theory. So I'm using my laptop now. Using it's it sounds better. So um, technology, love it or hate it, it doesn't always want to work with you. It's super frustrating. Um, it was a good podcast. So, um, but hopefully this one's going to be better. And I'm looking to have JDC. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back uh, on the podcast today, later on. I'm going to have him on, ask him some questions and everything, but uh, I'm just going to kind of go through and try to remember what I talked about. Um, Gosh, I I got deep in that one too, like in my last podcast, but I had to delete it because it just sounded terrible. So I'm doing it on my laptop, on the app, on there, which I probably should have started out doing it there. But uh, anyways, love you guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, I'll do that for JDC today because he's going to be on the podcast. Um, Hopefully there's no technical difficulties when I have him on. I'm just going to put him on speakerphone and we're going to catch him on the mic. Um, So yeah, so on my podcast, since you guys probably weren't able to hear it very well at all, it's really choppy uh, before. So this should sound clear, hopefully. I'm going to check it before I post it. I just posted it without checking it before, so lesson learned there. Um, so, yeah, it uh, it was a crazy week um, at work. I'm back. I'm sorry I haven't been posting podcasts lately, but, you know, life happens, things get crazy, and I got to be in the right space in my mind to post podcasts. So, so I'm back, and... Uh, so basically, in the podcast that I posted before, that just didn't work very well. We'll just we'll leave that behind, and you know, just I think we uh, anyone that's a uh, that posts media, uh, any content creator out there, uh, man, we've all dealt with posting things, spending a, a ton of time on things, and for all you um, customizers out there too. Where you spend so much time on a car, you got like all dialed in, and then you like blotch the paint, or it gets smeared, or the decal, or decal, or whatever you want to call it, it gets destroyed. So you have to start all over again. And I think that's just a good lesson in life: is that you're gonna have to, you're gonna get knocked down, and you're gonna get <laughs> punched in the face sometimes with things that you do. But uh, never let it slow you down, like. It's funny because like, I just posted this like, you know, podcast about encouragement and, and, and we'll touch on some of that stuff, but it just changed into something else because, you know, it's it's a good day. It's frustrating when something like that happens. You spend 36 minutes of your time getting real serious and, you know, talking about all kinds of stuff and then it just doesn't work out or it doesn't record or whatever. And uh, I think Hewitt's recently posted a... Uh, video about him unboxing and and it just didn't record he didn't hit record or it didn't record so we've all been there and uh all i can encourage you guys is just to move on and and do it again and do it better you know so we're doing another podcast this one hopefully is better um than my last one but uh i'm just i started off my last pod, podcast just by saying god bless you guys i hope you're having a great day um, I hope you are giving it your all today, whatever you're doing, um, being positive. Um, I talked about, in my last podcast I deleted, I talked about just being encouraging to each other to give it your best every day, positive attitude, no matter if you work at McDonald's or where you work, to be encouraging, to give it your all. And you will succeed when you give it your all and people notice that, for sure. So that's something to really focus on. So just, I mean, it was it was a crazy week for me at work. Um, for all you that don't know, I'm a service advisor, service writer for Lexus. And so 
uh, some people ask me like, what, what is that? I've never heard of that before. Well, what I call it, the, my coin on it is a car drama facilitator is what I am. So I facilitate car drama all day long. And that's all it is. That's mostly what it is. So you have a flat tire, you your engine blows up, you've got your heater goes out, whatever, you just for maintenance, you come see me. And I'm like, basically, I'm like a wedding planner for like, for cars. <laughs> because, you know, it's like, I got to get dispatched. I mean, it gets dispatched to the tech, we got to order parts, um, go over prices, put it all together. It's just like this, there's so many different aspects to what I do every day. And there's so much drama too. some days, you know, and this week's been like just full of drama and nothing working, just like my last podcast, it didn't go through. That's kind of how my whole week was going, but I'm not going to let it slow me down at all. But, you know, printers not working at work, uh, credit card machines like aren't working properly. Um, Somebody lost customer keys while they're waiting for their car, um, which is a story I'll go into in a little bit here. Um, But... It was just a crazy week, very frustrating, very challenging, very trying week, but um, I'm off today. I got through it Uh, Thursday, um, just I prayed before I went into work about just having a, just, I mean, just like, God, can you please let me have just like a normal day, like a okay day, because it's been so brutal this week, and you know, I was blessed to have a good day. It was a good day, so... Um, now I'm just, you know, off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, able to catch up on some podcasts and, uh, some videos on YouTube and hopefully those don't go sideways on me like this last podcast, but you know, just, you got to keep your head up. So yeah, it's just, um, I just want to encourage you guys this week to whatever you're dealing with, whether it be at work or at home or any of the, the negative stuff. Um, the the stressful things in life that you're dealing with, I just encourage you to just to like just to power through it, be positive, to know that there's people out there that love you and care for you and, to, and, and are there to help you. Whether it be me, uh, shoot me an email or whatever, shoot me a comment, or somebody else in your life that if you're struggling with something, uh, just reach out to them and, and ask for some help or, and talk about kind of stuff because. We're all, you know, we're all diecasters. We're all hobby, you know, hobbyists, whatever you want. Not hobbits. You know, we don't have big feet. I don't, I, we don't have big feet. I can't speak for everyone. You know, maybe you're out there, you got some huge hobbit feet, you know, and to each their own. Um, but, um, yeah, I don't know where I was going. Now I'm talking about hobbits. But anyways, just <laughs> uh, if you're having a rough week, just to know that there's other people out there like myself that are having a rough week too. But it's really what you make of it, you know. You got to come out strong and just power through it and be positive and just be encouraging and be kind to people. And I think patience is a big thing because, you know, when you're, man, when you post a podcast or video and it fails or you make a beautiful dinner, like maybe for yourself, and it drops on the ground and shoots everywhere and it's just toast. Um, Some of that stuff is just laughable sometimes because... There's things out there that just want to, like, tear you down and bring you down. But, you know, you just have to really uh, rise above it all, you know. And just, I mean, it was a rough week. And it just, like, kept getting worse but finally got better. And I was just thinking about you guys pretty much most of the week. Just being able to, like, be like, man, I just need a day off, some time to recharge, to make a podcast, make a video, have somebody on my podcast, and just get refreshed, you know. And I did I did get some, you know, things happen this week that were, like, you know, went sideways like these keys that were lost at work. But the guy whose car that we, that we lost his keys, he was, like, just an amazing person and a, a breath of fresh air. You know, he was apologizing to me even though we lost his keys. You know, he's like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, what are you sorry about, man? But, yeah, it's just uh, Keys got lost in this guy's car while he's waiting for, like, a, just a small service. And um, it was, like, just the technician and put it on the board to for the people to wash it. And then the keys just disappeared. So somebody, 
somebody straight up just pocketed the keys and didn't put them back or, you know, because that happens in, like, the automotive industry. Like, people put stuff in their pockets, and that's, like, the biggest no-no. You don't put somebody else's keys in your pockets because you could totally forget about it or you don't set them down in weird places. So, keys got lost. My day got turned upside down. Um, guy comes to pick up his car, and there's no keys to it, and it's in the back with the... Just hasn't been washed or anything, so it's just a total disaster. But uh, I think the the main thing like that I talked about before is just to be be honest. Um, to if you make mistakes, own them. You know, if you lose, I mean, for for whoever lost those keys, just needs to own it. But they never came forward. Keys never showed back up. Customer got inconvenienced. My day got turned upside down. And I think I, I think I probably have a bald spot on my head from how much stress there was from that. You know, just a poor guy comes to get his car and I can't give it to him because the key's lost. So just own up to your mistakes. You know, if like the person whoever lost those keys would be like, "Hey, man, I, I, I put it in my pocket. They disappeared. I'm sorry, I messed up. No big deal. We'll get them a new key. We'll move on. We know where they're at. You know, thanks for apologizing." So I think it's just like in the bigger picture. Whatever you do, like when you make mistakes in life, when you say things that are hurtful to people, you offend people, you know, and you didn't mean to, um, just own up to it. Just apologize. Just, you know, I'm not going to say be a man because that's sexist, but just be a good person. Just like own up to your mistakes, you know, and, uh. I think that it's like all you have, like I've talked about in the past, is like your character, you know. And if you've got, if you're lying and, and hiding stuff and cheating and and doing all that stuff, you got to live with that. So I just encourage everyone just to be to be honest, to be kind, to be true, be you, to wear shoes. No, I'm just kidding. Just rhyming things at, the, at that point. But yeah, anyways, it's like it was just a crazy week. Um, but the guy that we lost his keys um, was a, a breath of fresh air because he was apologizing to me. Uh, we were able to. He had a second uh, set of keys that he was able to bring and pick up his car, and we're gonna and we're gonna um, we're gonna make it right and get get him some some a new key. And if that other key shows up, he'll have three keys. But I'm gonna do something else for him for sure. Because he's just such a, a good dude, good guy. So I was able to talk to him about just like cars. He's a, he's a car person. He's had an M M5, um, RS6 or something like that. He's got a 69 Camaro um, that's all fully restored. Just a cool car guy. I love car people. I do. And a lot of car people, of course, like collect die casts like you guys. But we were able to talk for a while. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have been able to get that opportunity to talk to this guy and get to know him if his keys weren't lost. So I'll take that I'll take that as a blessing. Um, just to be able to get to know this guy and and he invited me out to Cars and Coffee that they do with a bunch of cool cars there. So um, but he uh, was in the uh, you know he worked for Boeing for a lot of years and he, he's used to this kind of stuff happening. Things go sideways. And he's able to to move on and forgive us, and and uh, we were able just to talk for a while about you know my cars and my dots and stuff like that because he likes classic cars. And uh, but yeah, what a what a good guy just to be patient, be kind to people that mess up. I think people make mistakes, but I mean I think the biggest thing is just owning your mistakes and owning your flaws and trying to work on becoming just better, you know, and whatever you do, whether you work for McDonald's or, or Amazon, or you, you work at Hot Topic or at the mall, whatever, just do it, give it your all and do your best. People notice that kind of stuff. I definitely notice that stuff when you go to like a restaurant or just like a fast food joint or any, anywhere. And somebody is super nice and kind and they're good at what they do. And you can tell they're trying their hardest. Just be nice to them, be kind to them. Um, it's not the customer service industry is not easy. Um, it's very difficult. Um, you know, be nice to that person that you're 
getting coffee from because they might have had some person that was just totally terrible to them before you came up. And you can help change their day and make it better just by being nice, you know, and being patient, you know, because in this uh, current craziness of the world, pandemic and all this stuff, um, you can just be a light in this darkness, you know, that we see some just crabby people and people that are short and people that are being nasty out there, you know, on your commute in or drive in, people are driving crazy. It's just a weird time. So just, uh, yeah, just be the light in, in a darker time like right now. Um, and just, uh, be patient with people, you know? So, um, yeah, so basically it was really nice meeting this guy for him to be really kind to me and, and help me help change my day and make me a lot less stressed out from him just being a good dude and, you know, possibly making a new friend. I'll probably check out that cars and coffee. There's, I guess there's a bunch of cool cars that show up really rare. So, so yeah, work was just crazy this week, but I'm glad to have gotten through it. Um, any obstacle that, you know, you come in, in line with, you know, or rough times, they only, they only make you stronger. Um, so just just keep that in mind. So, um, you know, if you, if you make a video and it doesn't download or there's no audio, do it again and give and make it better and give it your all like I'm doing in this podcast. So, I mean, I don't have as much energy as I did in my first podcast because, you know, just talking for a long time is kind of, you know, takes a lot out of you, especially when you talk so much at work on the phone and stuff like that. But, yeah, um, another thing I was talking about was just, like, the the crazy phone calls that we get, um, especially, like, on Mondays or the worst days. People call in and they're like, uh, I think it's, like, working at a dealership is like people think it's like a help like a helpline like they can call in and ask you how to put their car back together because they're working on it themselves this guy calls in and he's like yeah I, I i'm gonna need to talk to a technician i'm trying to put this alternator back in my car and i just i need some help i, I you know i'm like and it's just like you want to cut the person off and you have to be like you know nice to people but at the same time it's like what are you talking about dude you're not you're calling a dealership and asking like one of my techs to pull them off a customer paying customer's car and you want to talk to them <laughs> if you <laughs> it's just comical you know you're like oh, i'm sorry i don't i can't pull a tech off a car and have them talk to you just like you go to the you know call in the to the dentist and you're like yeah i'm trying to pull my own tooth and i'm getting hung up um i i've got most of the, the numbing down but i just need to talk to the dentist real quick and see if uh, they can help me kind of just figure out how to pull this tooth so it's just crazy that people that like call in and they, they the self entitlement that they think they're just gonna like, drop everything and they're too cheap to bring their car in or whatever and they they need help because they can't figure it out themselves you know but you know being a mechanic um, I was a mechanic when I was younger went to school for it have a degree I I know it's it's tough but yeah I could never imagine calling like a dealership or a shop to ask them how to put something back together. It just boggles my mind, but <laughs> we get those phone calls all the time, and it's just crazy. So, yeah, I got, got a lot of those phone calls this week. Just people, some people just being rude and crazy and stuff like that. But uh, yesterday was pretty good, and um, all you can kind of do, I being like in what I do, I I I bury a lot of that stuff. I just purge it out of my mind. Like the customers that call in, the, you know, we had another guy that was complaining that he had um, snakes under his skin and it infested his house and there's snake in his, snakes in his water and stuff. So definitely having a mental issue. And it's just like every day is an adventure for sure when you work at a dealership. And uh, I definitely want to like, one thing I was thinking about this week is just starting, you know, they have the office and they have all these shows. I just thought about starting a, a show about dealerships to write a script for that. <laughs> because I think it would be gold. Um, just the characters that are in a dealership, the technicians, the sales guys, like everything. It's so bizarre, you know, it's like its own little world. So, um, yeah, it was a, it was a challenging week. I did, um, I, I bought a new car. Um, we, Kimber and I got 
traded in her Stelvio, her Alpha Stelvio, and we got a 2016 GX460, and we absolutely love it. Um, the Stelvio has already had like three bigger issues at least, like AC intermittently not working, massive oil leak from the oil cooler. Gosh, and I think there was one other thing. But I was like, babe, we got to get rid of this car. It's going to be nothing but trouble. So, And it's just the seats were so uncomfortable, like like my GTR seats, like when I bought it, just digging into your ribs and then into your hips and stuff. So you just get out of the car and you have to like, you feel like a 200-year-old man like hobbling from the car to your house after a long drive. When we drove over to Montana, it was like nine hour, ten hour drive, and it was it was bad. So, got rid of it finally. It's a cool car, looked nice, drove well, but the GX460 is light years nicer. Um, it's a big V8, drives like a couch on wheels, super safe, tons of airbags. You know, I just want you know Kimber to be safe, of course, and just to be happy, and you know so. We got all the money in the world for the Alpha, and it's a good. It's a good market to trade your car in right now, because the used car market's super hot. Um, they're not able to get a lot of new cars, so we bought a used one, you know. But it's it's a beautiful car. Really love it. So yeah, so that was exciting. Um, but uh, yeah, it's like for everybody out there that's having a challenging week or struggling with something, whether it be addiction or depression, or just not feeling like you're sufficient enough or enough in this world, just reach out to somebody that that uh, is close to you, somebody that will listen. Uh, reach out to me if need be. Um, we're all die-cast collectors, modifiers, and all that stuff, but you got to, you know, you got to, you know, you got to keep, keep yourself healthy, like mentally and physically and everything, so... Um, I just encourage everyone just to to reach out to somebody if you're if you're having a rough week or you need to talk about something. Just reach out to somebody that that you love, someone close to you, friends, coworkers, even stuff like that, um, and just uh, talk about that kind of stuff. Get it out and just to uh, stay positive and and uh, just be the best you you can be. You know. Sometimes that's just easier. It's easier said than done. Just to like try to be positive and and stuff and. And, uh, but you'll get through it, you know, and if you can't find any Hot Wheels this week, <laughs> um, just keep your head up too. There's, it's the holidays are coming, so there's going to be some drops, you know, check your Fred Meyers or Kroger's and Walmart's and everything because, you know, being adults in this life, it, it gets real, you know, the grind, the daily grind of work and bills and all that stuff. Diecast is really... It's really a. It's been a blessing for me to have diecast in my life, um, to feel like a kid again. You know, I think that's the biggest thing. And you know, I, I thought it was super cute when Kimber found her first Datsun five tens, and she, I was like, it's just <laughs> was getting her to describe to me what she felt like when she found them, and it was like that feeling like you're a kid, like again that like you're opening something on Christmas that you're looking for like like treasure or something like buried treasure and uh it's just a cool feeling you know and it's a rare feeling when you're an adult to feel that you know that joy the wonder again you know being able to to find a super treasure hunt or that BRE2 pack of the Dotsons that I'm looking for right now that hasn't hit in my area but uh, Big A on YouTube, uh, Adrian, picked one up for me, and he's going to send it to me as an early Christmas present. So that kind of stuff really is is amazing. I, I love the community, the, the diecast community. There's some real genuinely awesome, incredible people that I don't deserve um, to be at my life. But it's not about that, you know? Just truly blessed to have these people in my life, you know. So, and you know, he offered to pay whatever the remainder is for my raffle right now on Instagram, Hot Wheels for Hope. He's like, whatever you don't raise, man, I'll just I'll pay the rest, you know, to get you to your goal. 
So that's just really amazing to have people out there to, that are um, thinking of of others before themselves. I think we can all take notes on that. And, uh, you know, during the holidays and everything, like I've talked about before, it's it's important to to think about others during this time. And even times where you're kind of depressed or or down and out yourself, whether it even be over something as silly as not being able to find any Hot Wheels, because you're gonna have you're gonna have those times where you can't find any Hot Wheels, and uh, it is what it is. You'll find them. They'll come. <laughs> they'll come around. And you know, sometimes you got to travel way out of your area to find some good Hot Wheels. So remember that. Uh, so, yeah, so huge shout out to, to Big A on uh, YouTube. Good friend of mine. I'd like to meet him in person someday. And uh, he's just a good dude and cares about others a lot. So uh, really good to have those people in your life, you know. And, you know, if you're having those tough times, you need people to be your friends and or to talk to or to converse with or be a part of a community i recommend checking out people's channels like big a um like honest diecast twice diecast jdc um you know flying valiant all those channels like these are really positive people and and they're good dudes and they'll um they'll help you out they'll listen to you you know, they may be able to help find that car you're looking for that you just can't find that you're down and out about. But just remember that these die casts, they're just material things and can't take it with you and can't base your happiness off of them, of course, because material things will fail you, um, you know, when you're trying to fill voids in your heart, basically, you know. So, but, you know, everybody loves the hunt. Um, don't get discouraged when you can't find stuff. I know you want to and you get down and out, but, you know, just keep trying and just keep pushing through and you'll find some cool cars, you know, and there's always, you can always get stuff off of the internet if you have to or hit up some, some friends and just put yourself out there and try to talk to people that you normally wouldn't talk to. Get out of your comfort zone, like I, like I say, um, and meet some new people, you know. It's a good community to be a part of the diecast community, so I encourage you to, to be a part of it. You know, if you, you make you make new friends and you get into knowing some people that, you know, modify cars or collect cars or do whatever, like you get you get some amazing people that send you stuff if you know, if they like you or, or they're just kind enough to send you stuff, like customs that they've done. Like I just got some customs from from uh, Eddie at Simple Customs, and I got some. I got a couple of customs from uh, Sammy Cabrera, and you can't pay. You can't pay all the money in the world for people's time. You know, it's just like the time that they give you that they were thinking about you enough to make you a custom. It's really amazing, and I can't. I don't have the right words to say how much it means to me when people make me custom diecast because I customize cars too, and I know what it takes to to make a custom like so I, I don't even know on some of these cars because i don't do all this stuff that that some of these guys do like lift like the they lift the chassis they got the mud tires on there they got the mud they got the rust like all the little details and they did it for you you know so um it's really it's really amazing to be a part of a community like this so um, I encourage you guys to, if you if you modify cars to to for Christmas time to make somebody that you appreciate a custom car, it, you know. And then another thing that I challenge you guys to do um, this week or this month is if you're if you have a YouTube channel or even Instagram or Facebook, I challenge you to. Somebody that you like, that you, uh, you know, admire, to make a video um, t- um, basically for them, um, for everybody. You know, like, for example, like Hewitt's, 
He likes willies. He likes gassers. He likes all that stuff. So just make a, a tribute video to the person that, to someone that you um, that you look up to, that you respect, that you like, and uh, and then just label it to them. You know, you know, it's like for for me. I want to do a video of uh, some older stuff that I have for Curbs, uh, Curbs Customs or Curbs Garage um, because he likes the older stuff, red lines, and I'm starting to really get into that. So diecast is like you're always going to find new cars that you like and stuff that you haven't seen before. Like I'm really getting into like these. I just picked up some of these little Speed Rebels that I didn't know existed until I went to that garage sale. And Johnny Lightning makes those, and they're like 90s cars, and they're super cool. So I bought a couple more online. Uh, JDC said he has some that he picked up, and he's going to send those to me, like three or four of them. He doesn't have to do that, you know, but, like, it's such a good community of people that think of others before themselves. That's pretty rare, you know. I think we all run into people that think about themselves first, and me, 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 and when you meet people that really care about others more than themselves, that's really amazing. And I think if you focus on people's or different people more than yourself, that that's just gonna, you know, make make everything better. I mean, not everything better, but it'll make your life better to to focus on helping people instead of just worrying about yourself every moment of the day. You know, so really blessed to have you guys in my life. In all honesty, you know. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna wrap this up, but I just appreciate all you guys that have listened that that are encouraging me to continue to make podcasts. Um, it's been killing me this week. I've been so busy with work and just getting back into the swing of things from from being off for like a couple of weeks and get back to work. It, it's kind of draining to you know because I work um, 11, 12 hour days and then a two hour commute. So. Uh, but thank goodness it's only generally only four days a week. So, but when I get home, I'm pretty tired. So, I don't always have time to to make videos and post them, or even make podcasts because sometimes I'm just you know, of course, not in the mood. But today I'm definitely in the mood enough of a mood to where I made a 36 minute podcast and it didn't work out. You know, but like I said, you know, you sometimes you just gotta dust yourself off and and try again and and do it better you know so i appreciate everybody listening and hopefully this this podcast sounds good (laughs) and uh i do like the fact that um there isn't video uh with this podcast i do enough video on youtube and everything but it's nice to have people like listen to the to the messages you're trying to pass on to them instead of being distracted by video, you know, it gets kind of tough sometimes. People just don't listen if they've got something that's, you know, with video, it's just kind of a background noise to them. But yeah, so I'm excited to have JDC on on the podcast. Um, Hopefully that'll work out this evening and we'll have some fun. And we'll, we'll like, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So uh, yeah. So it'll it'll be fun. So I love you guys. God bless you all. I hope you're having an amazing day. If you're at work and you're struggling through it today, you had a rough day. Tomorrow's a new day, and uh, it'll be better. So um, I encourage everybody to to post um, a comment on this video if it you know if you had a rough day and uh, just come you know just kind of. Say why it was rough and and then tell me why, tell me how tomorrow's gonna be better. So, uh, I think you know, it's just the way you look at it sometimes. You know, you just gotta dust, like I said, you gotta dust yourself off and move on, you know. And, uh, I appreciate all you guys, I do. Um, and I, I love, I love you guys, and I will see you in the next podcast. Um, check out YouTube. Um, gonna post a video about me unboxing those custom cars really incredible cars that i got from eddie and sammy so check that out and then um hopefully i'll have another podcast up this evening with uh, jdc and uh that should be exciting i'm I'm super excited about that so 
God bless you guys. Have a great day. And uh, tomorrow's a new day if it didn't work out today. I'm in your face.